Hello, hello, hello. You are tuning into another episode of The Wonder Can Show. Today's second topic, score prediction for the Lions versus the Ravens. Look, I'm going to be real with y'all. <laughs> I actually have this being a closer game. I had kind of touched on it before in one of the previous videos, and I had said that I believe the Ravens going to get at least 35 points. I did. I, I said that, and I, I do believe it, and I think it's going to be because Lamar gets at least a Jackson 5. I think that Lamar Jackson goes off, has a Jackson 5, and I think a part of that Jackson 5 is going to be Rashad Bateman going for 100-plus yards receiving and a touchdown or more. And I know a lot of people, listen, I read the comments. I had a lot of people going up my head. Look, guys, it's just a feeling. You know what I mean? And I've been right about a, long, a lot of things. I've been right about a lot of things. A lot of things people said, man, that was good. And I've been wrong about some, but I've been right way more than I've been wrong. But it's just a feeling. You know what I'm saying? It, a lot of people's like, what do you chalk it up to? It's just a gut feeling I have that I think this is going to be the game where Bateman goes off. And I think he's going to have an, a very, very good game. And I think him and Lamar is going to be on the same page. Um, now, for the Lion fans that are watching this, this is no hate, right? I don't hate the Lions or anything like that. I think we beat you guys. But I think it's going to be a close game. I think we beat you by, like, probably about five points. Maybe, if that, I think that you guys put up around 27 points on us. Um, 27 to 30 points. I'm expecting more 30. That's why I have my five. I expect us scoring at least 35. So, yeah, I believe all our touchdowns come from not no rushing touchdowns for the Ravens. I think this comes all on the arm of Lamar and, um, and him working in cohesion with his receivers this game. Now, I don't know. That probably, I don't know how far you'd have to go back where the Ravens don't have a rushing touchdown for any of their touchdowns in the game. But we're going to get to see. Because I, I don't know. I don't. I, I think that would be like one of those weird stats. But like I said, I'm going, you know, <laughs> I'm going uh, probably 31, 31, 35 Ravens. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I want to say it. Yeah. 31 35. Yeah. 38 30. So 31 points for the Detroit Lions and 35 to 38 points for the Ravens. And I think the thir if we get 38, it's only because one kick at the end goes to Justin Tucker just to put us, you know what I'm saying? We stall once in the game and they kick a field goal and, you know. That's how we be, 31-38, you know what I'm saying? And I'd have no problems with that <laughs> at all. At the end of the day, even if it's lower than that, I just want us to come out with the win. You know what I mean? But I do think it's going to be a high-scoring game. It's not a shot out to, or it's not a, uh, a critique of the defense. I don't think that it's because they're going to be lackluster. I just think it's one of those days where the offense has to carry the load. I've said this before. No matter how good a defense is, there's going to be one or two games in that season where the offense has to go off because the defense, for some reason, just they're, they're, they got the defense's number that, that day. Like the defense might cause turnovers, which I'm expecting the defense to do, but overall for just scoring, I'm expecting them to, uh, yeah, to put some points on us. And look, I know that a lot of people are going to be mad about that. How are you going to make them score on Roquan? How are you going to make them score on Queen? How are you going to make them score on um, on, 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 um, Marlon Humphrey? And I think it's, it's going to happen, but I think there's going to be turnovers. I think there's going to be turnovers. I think we're going to jump out to a lead. They're going to be passing more, and I think that's going to put our defense in. You know, there's not going to be a lot of rushing, so there's going to be a lot of airing it out, and, you know, it's going, we're going to be, have to leave um, lean a lot on our secondary which we've all seen can at times get beat. And that and look, like I said, 
I could be wrong, but I'm picking my point prediction. I know, listen, I already know y'all gonna cook me in the in the comments. Cause y'all been cooking me ever since I said I believe um Bateman gets 100 yards in the touchdown this game. Like y'all been cooking me, bro. <laughs> I'm like, bro, as much as I've been correct, man, y'all just can't be like, well, maybe I have a feeling about this. Nah, Nitro, you can't have no feelings about this. Forget your feelings. Forget how much stuff you've been right about. You're wrong. <laughs> But nah, for real. They're like, what? Payment did what? <laughs> Get that out of here. But no, I'm being real with y'all. It's a gut feeling. It really, truly is a gut feeling. And I just have that feeling that they're going to go off. But the Lions are going to do well. I think they're going to have a, probably a really big third quarter. You know what I'm saying? First quarter, eh, we take off get a lead might be like 14 to three or something like that. First quarter, second quarter, they kick another field goal and then you know, or, or even score once to make it about 10. We score one more time. So it's like 21 to like 10 halftime. You know what I mean? We're like, all right, we're up. We're good. We're doing good. And then we score, you know, another time for 28 in the third, but they score twice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's like, Oh snap. They can come back on us. But then, you know, fourth quarter, we put them away with the kick to just make sure that there's no way that they can come back. So, you know, I, I, that's what I'm leaning on this game. But I know a lot of people are going to tell me I'm wrong. But like I said, that's what I'm leaning on. I will say this, though. If Lamar does get a Jackson 5 or more, because, you know what I'm saying, he gets a jack to five or more in this game, then Bateman has more than one touchdown. If Lamar has five touchdown passes in this game, which I do believe he's going to have, then Bateman's probably going to have two, two touchdowns in this game. He might have even 130, 150 yards receiving in this game. I'm telling y'all, that's just the way I feel about it. Now, um, a lot of people are going to say, nah, that's Zay's numbers probably. No. I think what's gonna be is is gonna he's gonna be over the top. Zay's gonna work the short stuff, intermediate. But I think Bate is going to be the over the top guy for this um, specific game, especially the way Detroit comes down. They come down. A lot of single high safety with Detroit. One man to beat, and I do believe Bateman can beat him. I truly do believe that. But what do you guys think? I actually want to know everybody's score predictions down in the comments. I know y'all are going to cook me, but whatever. And some of y'all don't even believe I know anything about football. The crazy thing is I'm, I'm confident in my abilities on the way that I call football, the way that I view football, the way that I think football. So if you feel that way about me, it's okay. It is what it is. <laughs> I can't please everybody. <laughs> you know, if you don't think I know anything about football, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But I tell you what. If I am right about this, we're probably in for a very exciting season moving forward because then Lamar would be totally on the same page with all of his receivers. But like I said, let me know what your score prediction down is at the bottom in the comment section, please, because I know there's going to be some off the wall, especially from Lion fans. Lion fans, respect. I know you have y'all beating us, the Raven fans. Let me know what your score predictions is also, all right? Cool. But once again, that's another episode of the Wonderkin Show. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And now we get down, we have fun, and we laugh, but everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. You don't love the comments. And if you have not done so already, check out the Wonderkin Show's Patreon. Yes. Three tiers of content goodness. Give it a look. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And at the bottom of the screen is a QR code. QR codes to a cash app. If you want to donate to the, 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 the channel, help with equipment and stuff like that, that's exactly what you do. You donate to the cash app, right? It helps with equipment. It helps with trips. It helps with all that stuff to get better content for your viewing pleasure. And the name of the cash app is Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show. Super, super easy. And once again, this is The Wonderkin Show. This is your director signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And for once again, for everyone that said I don't know football, oh! that you already know how to do that. <laughs> and I'm out of here. <laughs> you know that. Yerp.